had a uh, roof line here in the winter time that has a layer of snow on it. Um, what I want to show you here with this place is, is this is um, an example of a, a well-functioning attic. It has excellent ventilation because uh, all the all the soffits underneath have been replaced. Um, I don't know if I can show you underneath here. You can carefully take a look, but all the panels underneath are all perforated. Um, so all the way around the whole house and all the plywood that was in there at one time too, blocking the airflow going in, has been completely removed. Also, in addition to that, we installed uh, baffles which slide up into the attic, um, which I've showed on another on another video that we've done. Um, so really the whole, uh, everywhere underneath the soffit is a big portion of having a proper, properly functioning attic. So, um, and then also to have uh, good ventilation at the peak, uh, at the top, to have the when the roof is done, to put proper roof vents in, so that the cool air coming in here can flow right out the top. And what you want to do is keep the attic temperature as close to as outdoor temperature as possible. Uh, you don't want it warm in your attic. You want a good layer of insulation in your attic, so that there's a barrier between that cold air in your attic and your living space but you want the inside of your attic to be very much like outdoor temperature because today it's about minus uh, it must be close to minus 10 mm -hmm. the snow isn't melting and the um, just a little bit where the where the sun is hitting on the black shingles but generally all the snow that's on this roof is staying put if there was a heat loss problem through the attic then what happens is this bank of snow starts melting from the underneath and what happens is as it melts from underneath and slowly goes uh, decreases in size the water starts dripping out from underneath this layer of of uh, snow. What the snow does is it actually just creates a good layer of insulation on top of your roof to hold any heat inside your attic that could be escaping from the inside. So what happens is slowly this whole bank of snow starts melting, it dribbles down the roof and it comes out here and what that's what starts to create this big four or five inch block of ice that you see on some people's homes. What it does is the water comes down out from underneath the warmth under this bank of snow, lands on the uh, eaves trough, and then instantly refreezes back to ice. So there's where the problem is there. There's no way that you can make this water that's dripping out from under here flow down these downpipes um, without some kind of a heat source. Uh, like heat tracing through the gutter and the downpipes or fixing the melting action that's happening from underneath these banks of snow that are depositing on the roofs. Um, with this place, this is what I consider a normal a uh, <laughs> this is what I consider a normal normal house. There's actually no ice build up on top of the leaf guard. Um, because there's not a problem with the attic here.